Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. is for anybody who is sore but you still want to get in a workout this could be because you aren't recovering as fast as you would hope so for some reason or you're sore but you're supposed to be going to the gym or it's your active rest day any of those things this workout is going to be for you guys this is really going to help aid in the recovery process and be able to still get in the gym and get in some kind of workout that's just going to all around benefit you and your body so this video is broken down into three sections we're going to target some self myofascial release aka foam rolling um, the second thing is going to be dynamic stretching and then the last thing is going to be a little body weight circuit so I really hope you guys enjoy this video but first if you aren't already subscribed please subscribe down below for new videos weekly as well as find me on Instagram at hunter chill in two R's two N's and now let's get into this active recovery workout okay so the self myofascial release is what you're going to be starting off with and I wanted to give you guys some few pointers as well as kind of explain to you why you're doing this in the first place in case you don't know because a lot of people don't actually know why they're doing it so everybody's body um, around your muscles around your organs just around everything has a layer of fascia and when you are tearing down your muscle fibers sometimes you get tears in that fascia layer and so that when it reheals sometimes it reheals improperly because of those tears and when that happens it causes adhesions in your muscle or as you probably know it as as knots in your muscle and so when you do foam roll what you're doing is you're applying pressure and you're breaking down that soft tissue to allow blood flow to flow through it properly having knots or adhesions in your muscle can cause imbalances injuries um, even for ladies it can contribute to cellulite it's usually not the main cause but it can definitely be an attribution to your cellulite so it's just overall good to do this in general now a few pointers I want to give you guys is one you see how slow I am going that is how slow you want to be doing it I know a lot of people you'll see them using it like it's a dang slip and slide but you want to be going really slow and controlled so that way you are able to hit every part of your muscle and really find those adhesions in your muscle and break them down when you find one you want to apply all of as much pressure as you can against that foam roller to that adhesion it should feel or it probably would feel like a sharp knife stabbing you depending on how severe the um, knot is in your muscle but that is what it feels like yes it is very painful especially depending on the foam roller you are using but in the end it will benefit you and make you feel better and get better workouts so just stick through it as best you can I always suggest you at least want to hold it for a minimum of 20 to 30 seconds because that's usually around the time it takes your muscle to break down that adhesion and to get blood flow through there properly Now for the rest of the video, it's going into the dynamic stretching and the body weight circuit. I'm not going to do a voiceover for the rest of this. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I really hope you guys enjoy this little workout and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. And I know that just fragments of a world where your absence all I get to see. Yeah. Take me back to the planet, the planet where you and I are still meant to be. When you don't wake up next to me, you're incomplete. I need you here tonight to cover up these empty sheets. Cause I'm in. 